Hey what's going on guys, it's me Ian Robotics and today we are going to be making a 2 colors and so proportional line follow for your EV3. So to make this really simple code, first of all we're going to have to go into our, our, our flow control and grab our, our loop block. Alright, so for your loop block, um, you can change your, if you, to this tab to the right, you can change how you want your loop block to stop, how, how your program, how you want it to stop. So in my case, you can, I'm using the time indicator, so I'm just going to simply select 10 seconds for my code. Obviously, you can change that later, but now we can um, get into the code. So we're going to get a switch block, put that inside our loop block, and then we'll get another switch block and put that inside the false section of our original switch block. Alrighty, so now what we have to do is go into our this little tab here and select color, color sensor, compare, reflected like line intensity. And we'll do the same for this switch block down here. Color, compare, like the light intensity. All right, so now we have to change our ports just to make sure that um, we're not, just to make sure that our program works because it, that our cobble sensors are plugged into the right port. So in my case, I have port two and port three, which is what I'm plugged into. So you, obviously you can go and change that later. Um, next, we're gonna go into our action going to pull out a move tank block and we're going to put out three of these and we'll put them in the true section of our first switch block we're going to print we're going to put another um, move tank in our true section of our second switch block and one in our false second of our switch block so now we're going to change the if you go to the tab here select on for all three of them all right so now they're all on uh i need to, we need to get some explaining done so first of all a proportional line flow code is what is what happens when your robot basically makes decisions so it goes left right left right left right and so how it's doing that is it's is it's using our color sensor here to decide if one part of the line is too, if it's too far onto the line, and once that sees it, you need to go, you, the motors need to go back and readjust itself. So if I select here zero and put this to 20, one, when one side of the line, when, when, one, when the left color sensor sees a bit of the black line that you're following, you will um, when it's seeing a bit of the black line that you're following, it'll turn, the right motor will turn in, um, will turn into the line, so it doesn't go out off to the right too much. Vice versa for the other one, for the other motor. So that's this down here. So if you do 20 here, which is the opposite, and you do zero here, ima just, it, just imagine your robot going left, right, left, right along the line. Just that's that's making that's the robot making its corrections and its decisions. So once it's found that line, it knows where it's going. It's got to go somewhere, not backwards, but it's probably going to go forward. So that's what this blast block down here for is for. So you just want to make these twenty speed. You can change these speeds, but I find that these are the best, and I highly recommend you use them. Obviously, you can change them, but this is my recommendation. It's nice. It's um, it's swift, and it makes good. It makes nice, quick decisions. So that is that'll be. So once it's found its line, it will drive. So now we have to do our threshold values. This is probably the most sheer important part of the code. No threshold values. No movement. So we're going to go. We're going to keep this the same. So we're going to keep it less than on both of them. So if you go into our threshold value here, we select here. Now, 
if you go if you go onto your robot and you select port view in your tabs and if you read what your color sensor is seeing it, um, if you place them on either side of the black line it should give you a very high value because when a color sensor sees white it reads a higher value when it sees black it, re it receives a really low value so on my robot usually it sees a value of 72 to 74 so I'm going to put in 73. So this is on both sides of the black line. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that in both of them. So down here, I'm going to do 73. Alright. So that's basically measuring. That's basically reading both of the white lines. So it should be dry. It should be driving until one of the color sensors sees something less than 73. And it will turn in either way so that is basically the code guys so proportional line follow code this is two color sensors if you had check out my other video um, in the description for one color sensor line follow um, please do if you're new to my channel um, please consider subscribing like this video comment down below if you um, comment down below if you have any tutorial ideas of any type um i have a 3d printer so if you want me to do anything with that please put it down in the comments uh and yeah i'll see you guys next time